Hey everyone, it's Abby, and today we're back with another reaction. This time we're gonna be reacting to episode 13, so let's jump into that. Just in time. This time it's gonna work. Ready, Aelita? Ready. Here we go. Oh my god, I hope it works. <gasps> it's working! It didn't work, did it? What about the fake ID and stuff? Ready? Yeah, they do need more training, to be honest. Good thing they're training. He was working on something really important. Hmm. I lead up. You me. Hey, I thought it was time out. Well, tell us, did you do it or not? I sure did. What? Oh. What? You materialized a test tube. Baby no, steps. Ahead. Look inside, will you? Um, hmm? Baby steps. A hair? You mean you materialized one hair? It's okay. Yep, that's right, Odd. Well, I chose a hair because it's a simple anatomical structure, but which contains Aelita's complete genetic computer code, according to a well-known fractal hmm. whose recurrences are comparable to the genetic code of a human, which enabled me to make a physiological number transfer onto one part of the program already pre-targeted and defragmented. <laughs> no problem. It'll become clear when Aelita's here in flesh and blood. You're gonna materialize her now? What do you think? I'm not gonna wait until next year. The hair was just a test before we do the whole thing. No. Listen, making a hair appear is one thing. Materializing Aelita is not the same. Exactly. Why well, say it's worth trying? Boy! How can that be? I planned everything so perfectly. Materializing when you need to set her up room, in the real world. The last a few days. I keep forgetting. I mean, Jeremy keeps forgetting. Trust me, I want to see Aelita as well. You know, I'd have sworn that it would work this time. Can I sit down? No. Why not? Yeah, you know I'm so crazy about dogs that I'm ready to okay, keep my mouth shut about the one odds hiding in his room. That is, if you promise to be nicer to me, of course. Listen, sissy, I'm warning you. If you say anything about Kiwi... Oh. <gasps> oh. What? Oh. What? Ooh. Mm. You okay, Yumi? What? Mm. Fragile, huh? We're not talking about Venetian crystal. Lunchroom plastic's more like it. Anyway, I know what I'm in for if I get on your nerves. <laughs> uh, the ship! The ship! The ship! <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, this song what? suddenly stopped. <laughs> on our way. And I realized that Aelita's program is all full of bugs. What? When I materialized the hair, I I hit a button I shouldn't have. And so I, I damaged the Annex programs. Annex? That doesn't sound so bad. That's what you think. The part of the program linking Aelita to the towers is screwed up. If Aelita enters the Lyoko code, she'll be completely reformatted. Meaning? What? She'll forget everything? She'll disappear forever. Oh, okay, that's you even know, worse. Jenny, a program can be debugged. We can do it together. What if Xana attacks before we're done? Hmm, that we means you gotta work up. fast, Jeremy. Exactly. What's the matter? Did you smell something? What's going on? What? Whoa, did you do that? I forgot what Xana got into this time. Well, maybe it was a ball that did it. And you, of course, didn't see anything. I couldn't have seen anything, Jim, because I wasn't here. Maybe so. Did he since get all the rooms are off limits during the day, how come you knew about the window? Ulrich, clean up your bed. There's hair all over it. <laughs> oh, I feel you, Ulrich. What happened? Everything's cool. Jim didn't spot Kiwi, but it was close. Kiwi will have to stay with Jeremy for a while. <laughs> oh, oh. What is it? Oh, nothing. Give that back to me. Give it back. <laughs> Dog, he took my my handkerchief. My handkerchief. Oh, take him away, please. I hope he finds the right solution before Xana attacks again. What? I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Did you see that? OK, 
Okay, what? Hello, anybody home? That was not uh, all, all these rigged. things happening are really weird. First, Yumi's glass breaks it's okay. and the window gets shattered, and things now the ceiling. You think it's Xana? Maybe it's just coincidence. Maybe. That was just a little oops. A funny one, though. I'm back, Alita. <gasps> okay, your people gotta get out. Yeah. Why haven't you evacuated? Jim, we have to evacuate the building. Thank you. Finally. It's Xana for sure. Oh yeah, it's him. You will be permitted to enter the building until further notice. <gasps> Kiwi, he's in Jeremy's room. <gasps> oh, no. I'll go and get him. Where are we gonna get these scenes? Hi. Hi, Ulrich. What? Uh, I'm not really ready yet. Okay, I'll hurry. Why? <laughs> hey, what's wrong with your dog? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, this is terrible. <laughs> Whoa, okay. I'm telling you guys. Earthquakes. Transfer Ooh. This Scanner right here Ooh. is a nightmare infusing situation. That I do not wish upon anybody. <gasps> Ilita. Ilita. Shh. They're here. Odd. <gasps> He's stuck inside. With Millie and <gasps> Tamiya. <gasps> See, she cares. Oh, oh we're in the hair yet! No! No problem! Your turn now! Catch them. <laughs> Poor girls. Okay, I like the way go. they're animating her hair. Yumi's getting better. Finally. Impact. Here we go. There you go. Okay, your turn, Millie. Okay. No, I'll never make it. Sure you will. Come on. Good going, girls. Okay, let's get out of here. I guess. I don't believe it. Oh, oh. Watch out. Ooh, the monsters are getting intense. Loving this. Pull out all the stops. We're not gonna last long, Jeremy. Jeremy, do you read me? Oh, Jeremy! A little patience, guys. I'm almost done. Okay, Alita can enter the program now. It's safe. Oh. This is the first time we get a point of view of the monster, isn't it? Oh. We're all set. Hang on, Alita. I'm starting up the repair program. Just in time, too. It's getting kind of hot around here. Oh. Here we go. Oh. No, oh this can't be. Oh my gosh, no. There's not enough time. Alita, can you do something? Can you do something? Jeremy. I've got to deactivate the tower. Uh, no, give me a little more time. I'll start over again. Jeremy, you know there's no choice. You'll be reformatted and disappear, Ailita. I, I can't let you do that. Are you ready for one last run? No, Ailita. Don't do it! Uh, I'll be in front. Yeah! yeah! Impact! Ailita. Is my favorite. Okay, this is kind of sad. 
Maybe she won't be reformatted, but what she does is really beautiful. No, don't do it, Alina. Goodbye, Jeremy. No! Okay, Bye, what? Alina. What? Okay, don't cry, Abby, don't cry. <laughs> Up a bit. Return to the path now. My poor baby. She was <sighs> just gone. Jeremy, it wasn't your fault. It was, and all that for a strand of hair. <sighs> hey, the hair! Jeremy! Didn't you say that the hair contained Aelita's entire genetic code? Her computer code, yes, but... Is it possible to reverse things and recreate Aelita's code uh, from the strand of her hair? Ugh! Huh? Yumi, you're a genius! Here we go. Um, shouldn't you put it without... It worked! The codes are getting restored! Let's hope that... Jeremy! Ah! Mm -hmm. I'm ready for my materialization now. Hi, Lita. Hi, Lita. It worked. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, Jeremy, oh. did I miss something? Why is there water on your face? I'll tell you later, Ailita. This time we only missed by a hair. <laughs> <laughs> Ended up being the thing that also saved her. Oh my god, but that was intense. And I'm gonna tell you, earthquakes are the worst. So, anyways, that heartbreaking moment when when Jeremy when Jeremy cried, it was so it was so sad. It was so sad when I needed to say goodbye. I loved I loved it when Yumi and Oreg had her back. They kind of understood. They're kind of like knights. I feel like their dynamic is kind of like a knight dynamic, which was really cool. So I'm really enjoying these. Let's see what the next one brings us. So I'll see you in the next one.